everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, wanted to uh, do a video on All Stars this morning. So, and lo and behold, just as I was going to do it, we get this from uh, Ebony. So, obviously, I'm going to talk about lag. I just don't know why anybody spends in this game. Like, you know, you, you, the whole point is to spend and, you know, for your pinnacle events, get your buffs for Shallans and all stars and wonder three and then just have fun in battlefield right but you do all this stuff and then the big event comes and it's so disappointing so Evany gives this a hundred thousand gems uh 20 days of speed ups and you know some other crap anyways uh does that pay for somebody's dragon that they missed out on like you only get a three chances a year at an all-star dragon and sometimes luckily this time they didn't release a new one so like you could catch up uh so i did advance to the second round um so i'm not complaining about anything like a uh, sore loser type situation but i don't think anybody who does complain they're not a sore loser so this is my team in the next round uh we look pretty good but uh other teams look really good too so this team's stacked at the top north start and dark fire Two very good keeps. And then Lou Mai Mai. Uh, Aura's really good. Thomas Shelby. Khalil, that's a uh, rhythm server. It played against him last round. He's very good. This is a very good team. I think they're very underrated looking at it. I think they're going to be tough. And then this one's obviously good. Emperor Ying. I guess that's the old Suri account. And then uh, William Wallace. He's awesome. I had a video about him like a year and a half ago where I attacked them and killed zero troops. So, <laughs> very good. I don't, I don't know if I'll make it out of that. But here's a... I, I recorded some of the battle. So, I'll just talk through it and you can watch. So, it's very fast. You know, like, you join. And then look at my last marches. Like, it's just stuck at March. Zero, 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 zero. The other one's preparing. I constantly reset the game. Like, I'm talking... Every time I join, every time I recall, reset. You just have to. And uh, like, look, it's still preparing. It's still returning. So there's the reset. And this is just something that is commonplace in these things. And it should not be. Like, we're talking about a game that makes millions of dollars a day. Like, that, Ebony makes more than millions of dollars a day. I have no doubt about that. <clears throat> Uh, and especially on big days like this, like the weekends, uh, the 30% discount with Aptoid going on now. These days, they make a lot of money, more than a million dollars on those days. And they can't get it right. Like, look, I'm still marching, zero, zero, zero. This is early in the battle, so 10 minutes in. And it does kind of settle a little bit, but it would only settle for like, Two minute stretches where it'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, or like you join a rally and then it would actually say you're in the rally. Like, look, you still don't see, it should have the time right now. It should say like four minutes, 55 seconds remaining or 29 minutes, 55 seconds remaining, whatever the rally setter put and you just don't see it. So we got to the point where we would have to, basically everybody would watch the rally and then we'd tell our setter, who did a very good job by the way, it was the old Sing account, uh, Oz. He was very good. And it would just say, uh, it would finally have the countdown like you're in a rally. So we'd tell him like, okay, send archers, archers, good, good, good. Like that. But like, why do you have to do that? This is a game. Like I said, that no other game like this, like th these are kingdom games or medieval war games and real time war games. And most of them run with no lag and they have better graphics and more details uh, like and there's no problems like go play war and order when I used to do videos on that game there's no lag at all and that game is way more complicated way better graphics and there's no problem so I don't know what the issue is with Ebony obviously if anybody did know it we'd be very well I'd like to think we'd be very wealthy because we could fix it but I don't think Ebony would even listen Ebony would be like oh it's gonna cost how much to fix that and we got all these suckers who keep paying? Nah. Like, this, like, 
if, if there's ever a developer call again, and by the way, uh, possible fake developer call coming up. Got some interest in that. So I might put together a little panel and uh, people will play some parts and it'll probably be just as entertaining or disappointing as the real uh, developer calls. But if Ebony ever does another one, like guys, like whoever's in that call, please don't talk about your server issues. Just talk about Ebony's server issues. Just bring up like, all stars is crap. All stars is crap. Shalons is crap. Shalons is crap. Like, yeah, it's a fair playing field for everybody. Like, I'm sure every team had these issues, but like, look at this. You haven't, I've been playing this video for you for, I don't know how long now. And you haven't, like, I can't even speed, speed marches. Like, look at that. You could see I'm pressing the speed up button and nothing's happening. And then miraculously, it'll kind of be back, but it shouldn't be like that, right? It should just actually be speeding up and showing me. So everybody has these issues. Uh, luckily, I didn't get caught in any scenarios where there was a rally coming at me and I couldn't get out of it. There was touch and go, but luckily the setters probably had the same issues and they couldn't send in time. So sometimes I would have time to hit, hit the speed ups on marches, hope they're coming back and then reset the game and then teleport. But uh, sometimes it would work. Like, look at this. Okay, I don't know. Did I speed up? Are we in? Like, you see all these? It's still marching. Like, this is just complete trash, this game. Anyways, uh, I wish we could organize some sort of coin, coin strike as players, you know? And hopefully it would only be short term. Hopefully Ebony would get their act together. But I don't think it works like that. I think it has to be, like, for a full quarter. So Ebony's investors get a quarterly report, and they're like, whoa, what happened to your top game strategy? Like, why is, why is, uh, see, look, so I reinforce this guy, Koopzilla, and my troops are just marching. I don't know if I'm going to get any reports. And then it ends up happening that, like, he's dead. <laughs> he gets zeroed. And I'm worried about my troops that are still sitting there. I'd love to recall them because they're just alone as reinforcements. But I can't because I can't withdraw the march. That's what happened to me last All-Stars. In the semis, I, I couldn't recall marches. I couldn't get out of any attacks. Uh, but anyways, the investor stuff with top games. Like, look at my marching. That top one there, that's my siege reinforcement march. It's still stuck in there. I can't get them home. But, uh, yeah, like, I, they got to put pressure on their investors who will see reports quarterly, and then their stock price will drop, and hopefully they'll get their act together. But... Anyways, I hope everyone who played, I don't know if there were streams, so anyone who watched enjoyed it. There, finally, it says reinforce, and now I can get it home so it doesn't get killed in there. And you can see someone's actually racing in to try and get it. But just wanted to show you guys that uh, lag fest that we had. Uh, happy to advance. Uh, hopefully can advance one more. Not sure. It's really, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say luck of the draw, but so much depends on how your team does, right? And obviously you can play well and help your team do good, but uh, there are unfair matches sometimes too. We were fortunate enough to finish first, so over 20 of our players qualified, and it was a very good team. Everybody played well, lots of good accounts. But uh, anyways, let me know how your All-Star experience was or watching this. Does this make you just not care at all? Like <laughs> the All-Star stuff is so stressful. You're playing and you're just praying like, it's not too bad. You know it's going to be bad, but you hope the lag's not too bad. Uh, maybe next round's better because there will be half the battles, right? First round, there was four on five continents. This one, there will only be two on five continents. But who are we kidding? It's still going to be terrible. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.